Hey everybody, guess who's coming? Guess who's coming up the train? Look who it is! <laughs> hey, you made it! Oh, that was crazy. Hi everybody, this week's video is sponsored by Babbel. Uh, so Babbel is uh, a language learning app that you can use on your phone or on your computer. Chloe agrees. <laughs> um, she's using it to, uh, to learn French dog language. <laughs> Lately, I've been, having, I've been having quite the challenge with French because I have to take my both written and practical driving test in French, <laughs> which I'm really dreading. It's really, really hard. So yeah, I've definitely been hitting, hitting hard the language lessons. And one of the nice things about Babbel is that you can kind of go through and like choose lessons, which uh, some of the other apps don't allow you to do. So you can like, you know, go into the grocery store or like they're really specific sort of uh, modules that you can take. Okay, here's a, a little taste of what Babbel looks like on a phone. A coup de fil. A répondeur. And they have live classes, which are really great, are easy to schedule. Um, there's lots of classes, so you can get classes when and uh, exactly kind of when you want them. They're very kind of everyday sort of occurrences that you might need um, specific language for, which is great. So when you are actually in a country, <laughs> um, you know, it's all very well and good to say, you know, be able to say, hi, hello, how are you, and order croissant. But it's a whole different thing when you're trying to open a bank account. <laughs> Trust me. It's a whole different language. Um, there's bank language and there's shopping language and there is um, driving language. So uh, it's nice that Babbel is able to focus on that, which I really appreciate. As usual, Babbel is offering 60% off a subscription, which is a really, really great deal. Yeah, take advantage and give it a try. So I'm here getting ready for the retreat and I've decided to be somewhat environmental with my retreat what do we call these the soaps the body wash for the shower so i got some empty bottles i got a big thing of body wash i've made some labels that have my little logo and body wash so i'm going to fill these all up and i have um ones for body wash and shampoo although i made a mistake buying the conditioner so I wound up buying two of the shampoo <laughs> so I have to go and get another sh conditioner but anyway I'll film again when I've done some of these okay I'm kind of shocked by how pretty these look I'm very happy so that's my first one I had to put it in a pretty back backdrop so that it would look extra special <laughs> Okay, I have a couple of packages to open. So this first one is a painting that I bought on uh, the auction site. And I just had to pay 36 euros in customs, which I didn't anticipate. But here we are. I used an awful lot of tape. So the sign on the back, 
Red. See, it's definitely German. It came actually from an auction that was in Israel. So it looks like Holstein, something Holstein. So there we go. Here's package number two. Okay, this is package number two from my, uh, one of my Patreons who has been sending me gifts, which is much too generous. She should not be sending you gifts all the way from New Zealand. She's the one who sent me curtains and pillowcases and tea towels. I imagine what might be in the rest. sending me stuff. <laughs> it seems like a very expensive thing to do. And a car. All right, present number one. I haven't tried to hang any curtains yet, so that's kind of a question as to whether they're going to fit, because obviously the curtains here are quite tall. And finding, finding the right height curtains is a chore. So I suspect I'm going to have to have curtains made. Ultimately. So here we have more food. Case number one. This looks like it's just plain, plain color this color, and plain color this color. Again, it doesn't. Oh, this one's 45, 45. And then we've got some black, black ones. Three black ones. Three black ones. For them. Well, thank you, Fiona. Very much appreciated. All right, everything's happening at once. Let me zoom out. So I have Karen here, who is a painter. And I, we've done a, and this is her husband, Drew, and I have done a collaboration with her where she has um, done this painting, which will be available on her site. I'll put links in descriptions of video and whatnot. And uh, Bruce is also here, having a nice reunion with Tama right now. And so, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to do this great unveiling of this painting. So the painting is a painting she did of the fountain at the back. I'm going to have to show you the actual fountain. Okay. It's hard to know. Like, do I, do I film you or the painting? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, she has to help me. Maybe I should get you to unravel the painting for me. There we go. Now I can get it. All of you in at the same time. Oh, wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. That's gorgeous. How fun. So we'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to buy prints yes. maybe on your website. It's prints in different sizes and it's notebooks. Oh, I have yeah. one of the notebooks. Oh, it's at, the notebooks are out, and out there. I made print on paper available. Okay. Really beautiful thick paper. Okay. Different sizes and also some on canvas. Okay. Maybe some people would like that. Great. Yeah. Awesome. How fun. I'm going to have to find a place to put it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how you have the water going over only on one side of the fountain, which is actually totally realistic because the fountain is crooked. And like <laughs> so, and so, yeah. Although Bruce is determined to fix that. So. I didn't have the water. But then no, I know. You yeah, had to. You I had to said, yeah, well, you need to have water. Yeah, it has to have water in it. Absolutely. Fun. Yeah. Super fun. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, Thank Karen. You. All right, so my painting that I got from the auction, I put it in here just to get it out of the way. And oh my goodness, it looks beautiful in here. Somehow the blue, the sky matches the blue of the, of the walls. 
And I just kind of love it in here. So I might just leave it in here. And then here is so far <laughs> the painting of Karen. So um, this painting, I have bought the original, but uh, Karen on her website is going to have some prints and uh, some notebooks available that can be bought and um, sent to you. So uh, if you're interested, I will put those links both on my website, chateauchronicles.com, and in the description of the video. So um, yeah, if you're interested in having a little piece of Chateau de Bory, there you go. Okay, Bruce is wasting no time and has already started the tile job, which um, in the end we decided was a priority job, uh, given the rest of the jobs are in places where there will be no guests, <laughs> namely the wallpapering jobs, which are in the room he's staying in and in my room, <laughs> and um, a shower for my bathroom, which would be nice, but is going to be more of a complicated job than we can do in less than a week. So, anyway, he's out here cutting tiles and I guess setting up the the first row. And uh, yeah, so this is what the tiles are going to look like. Kind of rustic, kind of to go with the floors, but also Hopefully we'll go with the color of the walls and the cabinets. So I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, let's go see him cutting. Hey, mister. Hey. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Great. How's it going? Good, good. Let's go see. Let's... Tomas is, uh, we've had a little design hiccup in that the barrel got wound up putting, being put underneath. So he cut this uh, plate for it. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, we might paint it <laughs> so it's not quite so obvious, but, uh, yeah, looks good. I think he's just putting this plate in, which is hiding the electrical panel. Looks good. Okay. A music off version. So here we have the tile for the kitchen. It looks really good. I'm excited. We were thinking we could use the uh, the same grout color as the floor, but I think it's going to be too yellow. So I think we have to go more gray. Yeah, something sandy color. Sandy more color. Gray. Yeah. Although that's kind of what we used here. Although this was more yellow, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a uh, matches kind of the yellow of this limestone. Right. Mm -hmm. And we we're trying to yeah kind of coordinate with the archway. Which right. Is a little whiter. Yeah. Right sure that. Yeah, it's going to look so good behind the arch. Oh, yeah. well, that's going to be fun. Yes, that's the right decision. Yeah, I think so. Did you did you tell people? Yeah, no. So we decided that we'll we'll tile the background of the arch with those tiles too. So and this is kind of this was more what we matched the tiles to. Well, that color basically, which is a little grayer than the floor. So yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. Exciting, exciting. 
floor is more yellow, like the rock that came down off the cliff. Yes, isn't that interesting? It sort of gives mm-hmm. ideas. Yeah, it's true. If only we could slice it into nice, even yeah. tiles like this. Or make a little terrace. Yeah, it'd be great if you could just slice it easy. But slicing bus sized pieces of stone, maybe not so much. <laughs> All right, I'm going to continue my cleaning episode. I'm I'm in bleach bleach hell. I've gone through two bottles of cleaning products now, and I'm about to start a third. Wow, it looks really good. It's going to be a good look. Yeah, uh, I like it with the, yeah. the cream of the mm-hmm. of the cabinetry. Yeah, yeah, and it's working with the paint color. I think really good. Yep. Yeah, picking the grout color is going to be key, though. I think it's going to be just. Like it's got to be disappear. almost the, yeah, the exact same yeah. color as the tile. We'll, we'll grab a couple of tiles because yeah. there's there's a lot of variation in the there. There is, yeah. The, right. Some are kind of red. Some are white. Yeah, you've got everything from pink to mm. to tone. Right. In action. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I went and got a, a relatively, relatively inexpensive robo, robo vacuum. I thought it would be good for specifically the kitchen, but also in my war against the punais, the stink bugs, it can clean up all the stink bug bodies that drop dead everywhere. So I've decided she's very sarta- she's got a very sarcastic voice. But uh, we'll put up with the, the sarcastic, the sarcastic voice. She does a good job. Look at that! It's totally working. It's so exciting. Cleaning all, up, cleaning it all up. <laughs> it's totally working. Look at that. She just ate one of those little spacers. I don't know why I find this so fascinating and, and satisfying. Is it vacuuming or is it... Uh... It's just vacuuming. It's not mopping. <laughs> now, what will she do on the on the ledge? Oh, no. Nope. Interesting. It's got the little... Yeah. The little spinner scoop. Here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that's how they work. Yeah. Super cool. It's totally working. Like, it's totally vacuuming up the floor. Now, will it recognize its own base station? Or is it going to eat its own cable? I should probably tie up the cable a little better. Ooh. Chloe's going to go totally insane. Okay, I'll stop boring everybody with filming this. Chloe seems unperturbed by the vacuum cleaner, which is shocking to me. I thought she was going to attack it. But I guess it doesn't make loud enough noise or something. Nor does it seem to be coming at her, so maybe she's feeling... It's not, it's it's not a a monster coming to attack her. But she's a little wary, I think. A little wary. <laughs> no. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for a reaction. Off. <laughs> All 
nada. La bola. ¿Se va? Se va, se va. All right, so Tomas and his friend have been cleaning around the pool, and we found a path. They found a path. Oh, that is so adorable. Oh my gosh. I love it. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, this place looks amazing now. This is awesome. Love it. On the yellow brick road. <laughs> it's like the yellow brick road, exactly. <laughs> it's a very short one. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this. Put some sand down. So, yeah. Wow. It's so great. Well, now we know what to do with all the little stones. We do this mm -hmm. everywhere. We should do the whole driveway. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that quickly? Could you do that by next week? <laughs> <laughs> I destroy the driveway and I put the box. Exactly. Like the woman. Wow. Wow, that's so fun. It's so cute. All right, we're saying goodbye to the red satays. And in exchange, <laughs> I am getting an armoire, a sort of side table, which is actually supposed to be for... Chloe, come here. Uh, supposed to be for umbrellas and a couple of side tables. I'm sure it's a completely uneven trade, but uh, it works for me, so I don't really care. Um, so there we go. It gets rid of furniture that I don't have to get rid of, and it buys me for free furniture that I don't have to buy. So... Voila. So this is the, uh, I'm gonna put a piece of marble on top of this thing that's supposed to be for. Um, Okay, here it is. Here is where I'm at so far with my bedroom. So um, I'm still waiting for a little bit more furniture. Obviously, I still have to put the wallpaper up, but this is what it's looking like so far. And um, so this wall is looking quite blank. <laughs> so my original intention was actually to put the armoire on this wall boop, 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 and put the new dresser that I have coming from the auction here. But uh, I'm gonna switch it for now because um, Bruce and I have been talking and uh, there's this whole space in the bathroom with the higher, with the, the wall um, that I think we're going to make this whole wall into big tall cupboards. So it'll be cupboards for all my clothing. Um, and then we'll be able to have cupboards from the in, inside of the bathroom that will be for linen as well. So it'll be partly, partly clo clothes on the side, linens on the other side. So, um, the only conundrum with that is, uh, where to put the dresser. Uh, I think if I have that, I probably won't need the dresser. Um, I do love this wardrobe here though. So I might just leave that there. And yeah, but we'll see. Um, obviously I'll have the dresser here because it's probably gonna be a while before we get this built. So I do still need somewhere to put my clothes. And uh, we have to uh, make this dresser 
right now it's it's quite wobbly and it's uh, I don't dare open the doors because it's going to fall forward. So um, <laughs> we have to anchor it to the anchor it to the to the wall. But um, that's where I'm going to put all my clothes for now. So yeah. Oh, and the tapestry. I don't know. You can see it there. It looks really pretty in here. So here's another angle, another angle of the room. And I put these, uh, I put these little, I guess they're little tapestry, framed tapestries, which I think are pretty cute. And I'm kind of liking, I'm liking the little dressing table. And yeah, so there we go. I need to set up the, 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 the furniture a little better. I'm not sure that these are really the, quite the right pieces necessarily, but um, for now, <laughs> kind of seemed to be going in the pink theme, which was sort of not really what I was intending ultimately, but here we are. <laughs> I seem to be, I seem to be getting the pink room. It's almost like fate has thwarted me, <laughs> but uh, I'm not lighting it. It's, uh, it's, it's very, it's very subtle in terms of its pink. It's like page, page, <laughs> is that a color? <laughs> um, pink, I don't know. Uh, so there we go, there we go. Here's the big reveal. Yep, I'm excited. Getting an update. Oh my god, the, the back yeah. looks great. That's gonna look lovely. Yeah, it? that's gonna be amazing. Yeah. And the color does work really well with that stone, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, so then I don't know if you can see the line, so we're gonna continue this level across here, and then it goes up into up into the What's that called? Space under the hood, and then back to here, so, and then all the way down. So yeah, it's gonna look really cool. So. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, and then above the here. sink. Yeah. yeah. So that's gonna look great too. And that will carry it, this level will carry across here, and then across that one as well. So. And of course I'm trying to convince uh, I'm trying to convince Abby to do the, the to do tile. this tile, yeah. And apparently, yeah. you can tile over the tiles. So I thought we were going to have to take it all out, but this is the old old tile that got put in in the '40s. And for whatever reason, when we were demoing the kitchen, we we didn't demo this. We got we got demoed out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we weren't going to bother here because we were going to put uh, a closet back here for um, the brooms and stuff. But then with the retreat, we needed the extra fridge. So now we might, Bruce says he might be able to, might be able to build a whole cabinet for everything. So we'll let, we'll, we'll, we'll sick well, Bruce first, magic on it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so first things first. Yeah, fair enough. This right. Well, then there's a bathroom to do. And, uh, oh yeah, my bathroom. Yeah. Wallpaper. There's so many little fun projects, not to mention the cottage. Exactly. Wow. So. I need to get back to the cottage. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, you've got to hurry up and get your visa. We've got to do that. Yeah, we, oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. we do some paperwork. Yeah, we, okay. we do. Okay, see you next week, everybody. I almost forgot to show you what it looks like all finished, grouted and all. So here we go. I'm very happy. I think it is a good blend of all the elements. 